everybody. Today I'm doing this makeup look. It is obviously a 4th of July inspired makeup look. I've got a really cool bold blue glitter wing going on, some pop and highlight might I add, and a classic red lip. I had this idea for a 4th of July look a while ago actually, but I'm so happy that one, I remembered it, and two, that I was able to recreate it exactly how I wanted to and how I envisioned because I think it's a really fun, bold look for the 4th of July. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and my videos will just pop up in your newsfeed so that you will always see them when I upload. Alrighty guys, let's get into the tutorial on this makeup look. I don't know what that was. As always, we're gonna start off the eye look using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is really exciting for me because I didn't have a camera that did that before. I just got a new camera. Then taking Anastasia Blanc eyeshadow, I'm just gonna set that down as I always do just because it makes my life a lot easier later in time when I'm trying to blend out all of my shadows. As our first transitional shade, I'm taking MAC Kid Eyeshadow. This is a really nice transitional shade just because it's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just a nice in-between and it's a really soft brown color. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this eyeshadow which is MAC Soft Brown and just deepen up the crease a little bit. This is a warmer eyeshadow so it's just going to add a little bit more dimension. I just want to make sure that the bottom base of the eyelid is still very pigmented and light. So I'm going back in with Anastasia Blanc just to lighten it up a bit. Now for the really fun part, we're going to be adding on that bold blue wing using this eyeliner. This is the Jordana, Jordana, <laughs> Jordana Cat Eyeliner in the shade Twilight. Whew, I'm shaking over here. This is such a gorgeous blue because it has that really nice metallic finish. It has a little bit of iridescence and it's just such a beautiful shade of blue. That liner is popping like fireworks on the 4th of July. Just to make your eyes really sparkle and shine, we're going to be adding on a blue glitter on top of that winged liner. This is from City Color. It's the Sparkle and Shine Loose Glitter in the shade Morocco. Very fitting. See what I did there? And as a mixing medium, I'm going to be using the City Color Sparkle and Shine Glitter Primer. This is the best glitter primer. Your glitter ain't going nowhere. So I'm just going to mix this on the back of my hand and then line the eyes with a winged liner brush. You want to use something really thin so that you just get precise application. This side just makes me feel like, baby, you're a firework. And this side's just like, <laughs> I'm here. I like this look right here. Glitter on the cheeks. That is really stuck on there. Call me crazy, but I kind of feel like putting on a little layer of silver glitter right on top. And for that, I am going to use NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in the shade Gunmetal. I really hope this works out because I wasn't planning on doing this. Once you get to the middle for some reason, it kind of blended in with the blue, but I'm mad about it. This liquid liner is taking forever to dry though. Next up, I'm going to be adding on a coat of my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Then I'm going to pop on some Ardell Wispies. For any look with a really bold wing, I like to stick with a lash that's going to let it show through. So nothing too dramatic, just something light and airy. We can finally move back to the face and I can finally take care of this. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer to conceal my blemishes. And then I'm going to go in with MAC Select Moisture Cover in the shade NC15 to conceal my dark circles. I'm going to set the face down using this Cover FX blotting powder in the shade Light. Before we go back and finish off the eyes, I'm just going to add a little bit of contour and warmth back into the face because I'm feeling a little naked. Don't play me like this, autofocus. Oh, did I even say what I was using? I'm using NYX Powder Blush in the shade Taupe. Totally forgot to conceal that. Can't really go back in with concealer. Oh, I just hit pan on this. This is literally so exciting. You don't even know. This video just, I caught it on tape. It's a cause for celebration. As you can tell, I really love this powder, but I can't really go back in with um, <laughs> concealer at this point because I've already powdered and set down the whole face. So I'm just going to have to do it with this powder, but hey. 
still very excited that I hit pan. Now to add some warmth back into the face, I'm gonna bronze it up with MAC Give Me Sun, and I'm just gonna bathe in this guy. I don't know, I'm really into that bronze skin right now, so I'm putting a lot on. I'm just putting it all over my cheeks, all over my forehead, the temples, you know the drill, just, you know, bronze it up. Then I'm gonna lightly blend that down with MAC Kid again. Definitely don't use something too dark because we're not going for that smoky eye look today. We're just gonna, you know, make it look seamless. Then you wanna add a small layer of mascara to the bottom lash line. This is optional, but I always like to do it just because I feel like it completes my eye looks. But if you don't like this bottom lash mascara thing on your eye shape, feel free to skip this step. For blush, I'm gonna be using this new one from Tarte. This is the shade Sensual, and it's from their new, like, nudes collection. I haven't tried it out yet, so let's just give it a go. I didn't wanna do anything too crazy for blush because the emphasis is definitely on the eyes and lips in this look, so this is just a nice, subtle color to add a pop of something something to the cheeks and I just want my highlight to be popping for this look like I want to be brighter than a firework so I'm gonna go in with a cream highlight this is by Sonia Kashu I like to hang it on my ring finger and then just kind of pat it into the skin then to really make this highlight pop, not that it isn't already popping, I just want to be glowing. So fittingly, I'm going to use the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is in the shade Sun Dipped. I'm going to take this shade called Summer and dust that on to... If you want to have so much glow, you don't even know what to do with all of your glow, that is a great combo to use. I'm loving it, though. When it comes to highlight, more is always better. Now to start our bold red lip, I'm going to go in with MAC Chicory Lip Pencil and just outline the outer part of the lip. Then I'm going to finish off the look by adding on Tarte's Matte Lip Paint in the shade Bay, which is a beautiful red. I thought it was just perfect for this look. And then setting it down with this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Try not to move my face, because if you move it while it's setting, you're just gonna settle into the cracks. Hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I am gonna list every single product that I used down in the description box, so if you wanna check out any of the items that I used today, they will all be listed down below. If you recreate this look, I would love to see pictures, so you can tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm Roxetarisa on both of those. Or you can even snap me, and on that, I believe I'm Rox93, because who else like just made a random screen name and then realize you cannot change it. Story of my life. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July celebrating with family and friends. Keep it safe, keep it cool, keep it real, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I guess that's it for me. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Dry liquid liner Dry Just tip pan, just tip pan, just tip pan and I'm gonna take this shade. Something's in my eye. No, legit. Something's in my eye.